uh, as some of you will know, about two months ago now, which is a fuck of a long time, uh, or a fuck of a long time longer than I planned it being. Uh, apologies for the slight delay. There was a strike on the channel and uh, general election and stuff. Stuff basically going fucking by, okay? Um, and in exchange for doing that debate with uh, Mr. Corpse, uh, the 666 Meister, um, I got... Uh, um, copyright-free and royalty-free um, access to his fucking ludicrous books. I'm going to say books. They're sort of extended pamphlets, mostly. Uh, and they're so poorly written, it's untrue. Uh, and so I'm going to take a read through them and uh, dissect them, mainly dissecting the incredibly poor grammar. And it did actually briefly, uh, maybe briefly consider calling this series uh, A Grammar for Nazi Reads. I thought that's just too convoluted. Uh, it would be funny for the 12 people that would get it, but um, uh, fuck that. Anyway, uh, yeah, so let's let's take a look at this. Um, uh, his book, right? We're going to we're going to start this series uh, off by taking a look at his book, Kissing and Shitting the Stars. Right, yes. F first thing to note, uh, and it's important for the kind of shit that's going to happen in this book. You'll notice there. Kissing and shitting the stars. Shitting spelled correctly, although capitalised, so I'm not entirely sure why that's happening. But um, you can also notice in the actual title of the thing, so the title for the book, Shitting has one T. So he's even misspelled the title of his own fucking book. It doesn't bode well, Dave. Basically, this book is him going through celebrities and why he thinks of them, bit one by one. So we start off with Bill Maher. Right, let's just get into it. Yet, come on. He tries to get people to think that he still has the cares and concerns of everyday fucking Americans. Come up. I don't fucking think so. You know I don't like Sean Hannity in the least, but at least, at least, oh, for fuck's sake. So if you use the word least three times in six words, in the least, but at least, at least, he's not as big a hypocrite as you are. Let's leave aside for a moment the millions you make from HBO. What about all the money you get from stand-up, comma, Bill? I doubt you do your stand-up act for free. So, comma, to be consistent, comma, give away 90% of what you make and you would still have more than enough, more than enough. Oh, for fuck's sake. In consecutive paragraphs, you've repeated two words ridiculously. Read through it, War Corps. Reread and proofread your shit. I just say you, Bill, perfected it. So that's what annoys me, right? You use commas there because you know it's the name. So you're saying that's what you're saying and it's to that person and that's the end that you're saying to the person. So you use the commas there. So you know that's how commas are used. So fucking use them consistently. But use them all the time. What's Jesus fucking Christ. Apologies if you can hear some rustling. I'm on my beanbag. Lastly, before I get off of you... Oh God! If you're if you're on in War Corps, that can't be fucking healthy for him, can it? That brainwashed to believe that this batshit insane organisation actually gives a sautéed rat's ass about animal rights. Sautéed rat's ass is a really weird phrase to use when talking about an animal rights organisation, and it's also a phrase he uses very often. I don't know what sautéed rat's ass. Presumably because sautéed rat's ass would actually be valued than the shit he puts in his cooking show. I don't know. I think that's fine in terms of the actual construction. Uh, it makes sense, but it's so stilted and hackneyed that they're such hypocrites that their hypocrisy has started to make logical sense. Comma. Oh, wow. Comma. Don't use that there, hypocrisy, consecutively like that. That's, a, that's appalling. I mean, it's actually, that's one of the lesser crimes in this book in terms of your literary style, but it's still shit. Why do I have the feeling that Ma and his hypocrisy do as I say, not as I do? Again, that's a paraphrasing, isn't it? So, italics. Mentality going to pop is going to pop up in every fucking thing that I write. Question mark. Alex Jones. It's a short one, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Just want you to know that, I think he's supposed to be next, you are a tinfoil hat wearing, stupid, dumb, paranoid, shit spewing, moronic motherfucker. I mean, you nailed it, War Corps. You forgot a word in there, but the actual substance of the sentence, spot on. Oh, comma. If you happen to read this and you don't like what my ass has to say, mm, 
One more thing. The Illuminati rules. <laughs> Oprah. Oprah, comma, comma. At least, comma, at least during the afternoon time slot. Actually, that could be the tagline for your channel. So poorly worded and so poorly constructed. Question mark. So much like your career. You don't have a full stop at the end of that fucking sentence and should be a quote, a uh, question mark. It's just, I mean, it's just, that's just out there in the ether, that sentence, isn't it? It's okay for me, comma. I couldn't stand your taste in books. And poor corpse, you don't like books at all. You've admitted before that reading books is boring and you don't do it. Anyone's taste in books. So, what? Anyone. And generally loathed anything you did. <laughs> don't sit on the fence, war corpse. Tell us how you feel. I didn't mind your generous spirit around the Christmas holiday. But then again, hell. Why is hell capitalised there? It's Christmas, comma. Even my ass is cherry during that time of year. Is cherry during that? Is that an Americanism? So, comma. You've never felt a stupid person, comma, Oprah. And then you've used a comma after Oprah. So, you know, again, your use of commas is infuriatingly inconsistent, Walker. Comma, Walker. Joan Rivers. When was the last time in spuddy hell were you relevant? Question mark. Fucking hell. What's spuddy hell? Again, as with Ju cherry. Cherry during that time. Is spuddy hell a thing in America? Or is you misspelled the word bloody really badly? I don't know. What, comma, I will say this, Joan, comma, your ability to stay on television is nothing more than amazing. She hasn't been relevant. Don't switch between talking directly to her and then to us. She's in the first person and the second person in the next sentence. It's annoying. Personally, comma, I think under the desk has to be the reason she's still on television. Fucking hell. Can's act, I think that's supposed to be can't act, T and S aren't even next to each other on the fucking keyboard, so that's not a typo, that's just you being an idiot. So, comma, how does she keep getting on my goddamn airwaves? Question mark. I don't know, comma. So, comma, anywho, we'll do one more and leave it there for today. Hulk Hogan, right. well, comma. I figured I'd get, my, I'd get my childhood hero out of the way early. When I was a kid, comma, this guy was a golden Californian god. I really thought he fought for truth, justice, and the American way. That through training, comma, prayers, and vitamins, I could be whatever the flying fuck I wanted to be. Walk up, I genuinely want to know, when did you give up on that dream? When did you give up on the physical training aspect? Because that, I mean, mm, what day did you go, Fuck, this isn't happening for me, man. <laughs> let's let's give up on that and just sit there ranting about women on, on the internet. Was it even what well, you might have been before the internet? I don't know. Anyway. I would even have the strength of body strength to body slam Andre the Giant or kick Jesus' beard off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kick Jesus's beard off. That's that's a brilliant piece of imagery, War Corps. But, comma, as I grew up, I found out he was a complete lying shithead. <laughs> okay. But War Corps didn't need to really explain that because, you know, relevant information and stuff is is for um, <clears throat> betas, presumably. First off, comma, the restaurant was astronomically expensive, but that's to be expected because, hell, comma, it's a tourist trap. Plus, uh, it's Hulk Hogan's restaurant, so I could give him a pa even give him a pass or give a pass, give him a pass of it, a pass on it. Jesus fucking Christ, walk up. Pass of it was on par like a fucking Danny's. I think he means Denny's. Again, Americans, if you could help me out, is there a restaurant chain Danny's? Because I think he means Denny's. No. Needless to say, comma after a short existence comma pasta mania closed it cost hogan i don't know how much comma probably in seven figures oh, this, uh, war corps learn to read and write before you publish books mate this is embarrassing now comma with age and injury finally taking hogan's ability to perform in the ring comma as he's done for many decades comma he scrambles for a way to make a living and keep the lifestyle he's enjoyed for so long 
this is stilted as fuck, man. So, comma, now, now with whatever name cachet he has left, comma, he goes to autograph signings, does the event. Can't, that should be a question mark, obviously, walk up because you're asking a fucking question. Plus, comma, did you ever give a thought, did you ever give a thought to I don't know, stepping, to I don't know, stepping away from the limelight and staying the fuck home? Question mark. Like Joan Rivers, Hulk Hogan, he used a comma, brilliant. Like Hulk Hogan, uh, like Joan Rivers, Hulk Hogan is a relic from the night, from the 80s. Comma, whose time is long past. So, comma, maybe like Joan Rivers, comma, Hulk do the world a favour and go away. Look at that. So maybe like Joan Rivers Hulk. Who's Joan Rivers Hulk, Walk Ups? Yeah, when, when she's in an outfit that she doesn't like, she gets very angry and bursts out of the outfit. Joan Rivers Hulk jokes for the win. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, and that's the end of that. So that's, yeah. I think we'll leave it there for today and we'll pick up on Sean Hannity. That'll be fun, won't it? Yeah. God almighty. Anyway, stop presenting, you motherfucker. Anyway, yes. So I thought I'd bring that to you because that this the first episode of this series, a reading for the Book of War Corps, um, Kissing and Shitting the Stars. Oh, that was, that was, it's hard work. I hope you do enjoy this series. Um, as with all my other series, they will be sporadic in terms of when I can be bothered to do them and how long they last and all that. Uh, yeah, but I hope you enjoy them because this is fucking hard work. This is like, as a person who likes good literature, this is like, uh, I don't know, it's like pouring battery acid on my soul. Anyway, leave your comments below. Tell me things I can do to improve this series, so on and so forth. I probably won't do any of them, but... Um, Constructive criticism is always welcome. I'll stop rambling now. Thank you all for listening and watching. Pip pip. Joan Rivers Hulk jokes for the win.